In this video, we are going over the sphenoid bone. This is the not budget friendly model of the sphenoid bone. This is where it sits inside your skull so you can get some orientation. You're going to note that you are bordered on the northern end by the frontal bone, the ethmoid bone. And again, that's the frontal bone. Remember, they're mirrored. You're going to have on the lateral side, you're going to have the temporal bones both the squamous as well as the petrous portions. And then you're gonna have the occipital bone down here on the bottom. So um, we're gonna point out structures on here as well as here so you can get a double good view of it. So the first structure we're gonna start with is gonna be your cella to circa. And the cella to circa is gonna be this little grooved area where your pituitary gland sits. And so there you go, see right here. And really this includes about four different structures, but we're just gonna sum it up as one, the cella to circa. So you're gonna have the greater wing. If you rotate the sphenoid, you can see right here, this is the greater wing, this whole structure right here. On this model, it's gonna be the structure right here. Next, you're gonna have the lesser wing. The lesser wing is gonna be right, this structure right here. It does include the process at the end. That process, this process, the clinoid process right there. Um, next, you're gonna have the pterygoid process. So even though it starts with a P, it, it is called pterygoid. So we're gonna go ahead and rotate to the base. And you're gonna see that this is a pterygoid process. It has both a medial and a lateral portion. So again, pterygoid process, medial, lateral portions. Um, now we're gonna go to ahead and go talk about some, the optic groove. And the optic groove, so if we rotate it back, you notice that where the six sits, there's a little ledge. And this ledge is actually where the optic groove, where the nerve of the, will sit in the optic groove and go out to the optic foramen. Let's go ahead and rotate that so you can see. That little hole right there is gonna be the optic foramen. So we're gonna stick this little, um, little soft tool right through here so you can see right there. That's where the optic nerve goes out to your eyes will go. And on this model, the same thing, you'll see where the letter B is. Next, we're gonna have the, um, the, so the superior orbital fissure. It's another foramen. It's not exactly a hole. If you notice, it is, it, it, it is a tunnel, but it's not perfectly shaped. Not very circular like you see in most of the other foramen. So this is gonna be the um, superior orbital fissure, this whole structure right through here. And when you look at the front of the skull, you can actually see it quite well. Next, you're gonna have the foramen rotundum. So there's a little um, acronym, it's called ROS, R-O, and then S. So foramen rotundum is gonna be this little structure right through there. I'm gonna to point to it, okay? This pipe cleaner isn't exactly large enough to go through it. This is gonna be foramen ovale. And you notice it's a little oval shaped. And on here, this was rotundum, that was ovale. And then spamosa, the little baby one. That's gonna be this little hole right there, right there. And after that, you're going to have sphenoid sinuses. So the sphenoid sinus, you can't see it on this skull, so we're going to show you on this model. You're going to rotate this model to the front. This is the anterior view. And in, so a sphenoid, a sinus is going to be a space or a cavity that can fill with fluid. So we're going to, inside these holes, if I cut this directly in half, you'd have a big scap um, or space that's filled with cells. And that is going to be the sphenoid sinus.